Hi, welcome to SAP MM Training. In this video, I want to set the expectations for this course. First, who is this course for? There are four different kinds of people who take this course. The first group is the fresher. So these are folks who come right out of college and then they don't have any experience, obviously. And there is another group uh, who have some level of experience, but not necessarily in SAP. You know, they could be a non-SAP consultant, non-IT or IT, doesn't matter. And another category is the SAP consultant. He or she is already an SAP consultant, but not an MM consultant. For example, he could be FICO or SD or CRM. And finally, we have an, another category called the end user. So these are folks who use the system. They are users of SAP systems or they want to be users of SAP systems. It could be in any domain, MM, PP, SD, FICO, finance. This is a broad categorization on who can take this course. Now, in terms of what they need, these folks overall typically need three things. Number one, business scenarios. When I mean business scenarios, we're saying, for example, in SAP MM, what is a purchasing cycle? Who is a vendor? What is planning? What is MRP? How is invoices received? What is logistics invoice verification? These are all business scenarios. The second topic is end user transactions. Some examples of end user transactions could be how to create a purchase order, how to issue an output of a purchase order to a vendor, how to receive an invoice from the vendor, how to post it in the system, how to clear that invoice. These are all end user transactions. Simply put, this is how you execute a business scenario in SAP. The third thing, of course, is the configuration. In configuration, you learn how to configure the SAP system to suit the requirements of the business. Now, in terms of who needs what, you know, a fresher who wants to be an SAP consultant would need the business scenarios because they're just fresh out of college. They wouldn't know um, how the material management procurement system works. So they would need to first be taught business scenarios. And of course, they need to be taught end user transactions. Because once you understand the business scenario, you need to be able to do that in the system. And on top of doing it, they also need to understand how to configure the system so that user will be able to do it the way they want it. So a fresher or an experienced consultant, or an SAP consultant, typically would require all these three different things. An end user, on the other hand, will need to know end user transactions and maybe business scenarios, but he doesn't need configuration. So this is the matrix of the type of people who can take this course and what they need. This course, covers all the three pieces, business scenarios, end user transactions, and configuration.